Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video. You join me today with a Mark II Focus ST, a car which surprisingly I have never filmed or featured before. There is still a few cars out there, hot hatches especially, which I haven't experienced and this one is one of those. This is a stage three car running a hybrid turbo tuned by Sabre Tuning, the same people who actually did the Mark I Focus RS, which has been on the channel uh, very recently. Really excited to experience one of these things actually because I've seen a couple of them around. These are arguably one one of the best sounding hot hatches running 225 brake from standard this one is running around the 380 mark really looking forward to this so we'll catch up with the owner have a walk around the car before going out and hearing this thing out on the roads which is going to be some awesome awesome fun indeed Okay, so we're now joined with Dan, the owner of the car. Thank you very much, buddy, for, for coming out today and showing me this. Like I said to you, I've never experienced one of these before and never really got up close uh, to one either. Um, of course, in usual fashion, first off, we've got the bonnet open. Um, you've bought this car fairly recently, well, within a couple of years, I suppose, yep. um, and done pretty much everything to it. So if you wouldn't mind giving us uh, a, bit of, a bit of a run round. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah, so I bought it, it, it was fairly stock. Um, it just had a stage one Revo tune on it. Yeah. A few little bits and pieces, induction kit, things like that, intercooler. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, pretty much since I've had it, um, I've, uh, first of all, I went uh, stage two. Okay. Um, yep. So I went down to Sabre tuning, did, did a few bits, um, did the induction kit. Uh, it's got the Pro Ram um, induction kit. Few other bits like the uh, the crossover um, AS uh, crossover things like that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, went down to Sabre Tuning down uh, based down at Castle Coombe mm -hmm. Racetrack, and uh, yeah, they did a stage two on it. And uh, when it was tuned there, um, stage two, it made 303 brake horsepower. Okay. I think yeah. It was. Yeah. And uh, yeah, then uh, sort of ran, ran it like that for, for a while. And yeah, it's kind of got to the point where I thought, right, next, next stage. <laughs> you wanted more power, what, what can we do now? So <laughs> I, uh, I spoke to uh, Leighton, the, uh, the wizard down at uh, Sabre, who's, yeah, he's itchy with, with these, like, yeah. like you saw with the, um, the Mark I RS that you did recently. He's, uh, he's like, renowned with these mm. and rs and yeah. some of the fiestas and things like this he's, he's known as a known as a bit of a wizard on the tuning side of these and um yeah so i uh, spoke to him about the next stage to go with this and um he recommended his uh he does a hybrid turbo setup yeah. um called his uh 400 saber tuning 400 rs setup yep yeah. um basically it's a uh, it's a hybrid turbo um it's got quite a few more uh, sort of characteristics internally of the uh, Focus RS Turbo. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of like a bit of a modern day sort of alternative to the uh, to using an RS Turbo to get the get the power with these. Mm -hmm. So yeah, had had that fitted by him, and uh, you generally need to do sort of 550cc injectors as well yeah. um, so I had that done at the same time uh, that was pretty much the only only real things extra that I needed yeah. needed on this to, to get the power mm -hmm. at the same time as well just before I went down to him um, I, uh, I had a friend of mine fit a uh, an M factory LS, LSD to this as well nice yeah so um, it's got that with uh, up, uh, uprated bearings in it too and um, yeah, so I wanted wanted it to sort of be be able to handle the power and everything. Oh, absolutely! It, uh, yeah, once time. it had been done. Hmm. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I dropped dropped the car off to uh, Leighton at Sabre to get the work done, and um, yeah, it made uh, made around a 380 mark, yeah, uh, 3 yeah. 360 foot pound of torque. Decent, strong um, numbers. So yeah, it's it's really good. I mean, yeah. the jump up. Yeah, from yeah. Uh, 303 to 380 it oh, was uh, yeah Big very time. noticeable and it's it's so uh so linear the power delivery it's just got power mm. all the way through the rev range yeah yeah i suppose when you did the stage two as well obviously things like the intercooler was obviously already fitted yeah so you got an air tech intercooler i see yeah so um, stage two air tech intercooler yep wicked wicked stuff do you reckon there's any more that you want to do to it I don't know, Dare maybe. I <laughs> um, I'm, I'm tempted to uh, try and push over the 400 mark at some point. Yep. So I might do the, uh, I think some of the time they, they just need sort of 
few extra bits like uh, next step up uh, intercooler with yeah. big boost pipe kit um, yeah. and then potentially like uh, cams and things like that mm -hmm. uh, so yeah I might might push to to that stage I mean never know some point <laughs> some point in the future might go down the forging route yeah oh, so it's send, completely... send it to the moon yeah yeah might, love that might, love might that do that at some point so or... it's all completely standard internally and everything like that yeah so it's, um, there, there's just the one thing that they say to do to try and reduce risk because these are quite well known for the um, the liners to crack um, yeah. it, it can be standard power it can be tuned mm -hmm. um, they they can just crack and uh, basically they do a, a lot of the uh, for tuning companies do a service called block mod um, oh yeah yep. they basically um, fit uh, like shims metal shims between the uh, mm -hmm. between the cylinders um, so it just it just helps to uh, reduce the risk of, yeah, of yeah. the uh, it's there, there's people that say that there's some people out there that think it doesn't do anything there's some people yeah. that um, say it does it's it's very uh, it's, it's a bit of a controversial one um, but yeah and anything to help reduce the risk at the absolutely. end of the day yeah, um, absolutely. so yeah that's that's all yeah. that's all internally so yeah, we just yeah. had that done um, it needed cam seals doing on the car it had uh, had leaky cam seals so yeah. um, while while that was being done it made sense while everything was off to, sure. to get yeah. the block mod sure. done so uh, yeah it did, did that at the same nice. time awesome stuff I suppose other than that still running the stock wheels which actually suit this car really well I think um, uh, suspension wise as well what we're running coilovers um, no so it's just uh, just lowering springs it's yep. got uh, a back lowering springs I think yep. it's about 25 mil ish all round yep. okay. um, yeah decent drop and uh, yeah just just basically that really yeah um, I, I have considered coilovers I might might go down the route of sort of uh, Bilstein B14s at some point yeah yep. um, but yeah I mean handling wise it, it, it handles really well on, on the springs so yeah Wicked, awesome stuff. It's kind of like an OEM Plus look, really, isn't it? It's yeah. Not too, yeah, that's, not too that's over what the I've top. gone for, yeah. Definitely. Awesome stuff. Well, I think if that's pretty much everything, I think we should get this thing fired up. Yeah. Go have some fun, go see yeah, what it's like. Let's do it. Like I said, I've never experienced one of these before. <laughs> and, um, well, yeah, can't wait. Awesome. Let's hop in, go for a little drive. the exhaust yes. because to me that is the party piece of this car is how it sounds yeah absolutely which is it's obviously been changed yeah um, I did spy a Miltec logo yeah that's right yes yeah, so it's a own. um it's a Miltec ultimate um so it's a cat back um it's uh decat and yeah. three inch down pipe I think mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, it sounds sounds really good. Yeah. When yeah. you open it up, it's yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It does sound really nice. <laughs> it's not too crazy when you're sort of driving normally. Yeah. But when you want it to be loud and a little bit as bow, it, <laughs> it is. Yeah, absolutely. And the overrun isn't too much either. No. I'll um I'll show you what I mean about the uh, sort of when you let off at, at around 4k. Yeah. Oh yeah! So it's like a rapid, rapid fire of sort of three or four shots. Yeah, and it doesn't go on for too long. Either. No, no, it cuts off after sort of a few, few shots. You see some of these ones which can spit flames like. Yeah, like absolutely massive flames. Is that mapped in, or is it just not something? You yeah, know? most of the time it's just yeah. it's usually just more more sort of aggressive overrun. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just the way they do it, but yeah, I, I I like it just sort of being fairly subtle and just you you can just sort of get it to do it when when you want it to really. Yeah. That's that's what I like. Yeah, absolutely. And the induction noise is so prominent yeah. as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> that that program with with all the setup on it is yeah, yeah it sounds does sound good. Mm, absolutely. 
I imagine when you did the LSD as well, I bet that made a big It did, difference. yeah, massive, massive difference. Did you do that before the stage three? Uh, yeah, literally like a week before. Oh, um, so it went, it went to my uh, friend Jamie, who does um, sort of all my sort of mechanical work, the guy that works at Ford, yeah. um, or used to work at Ford, he doesn't now, but yeah. Um, yeah, he does all the mechanical stuff for me and he fitted that, um, ready for it to go to, uh, yeah ready for it to go to Sabre, um, had like full service done by him at the same time, new, yeah. new spark plugs and everything and yeah, yeah. things like that and uh, yeah so it was all ready fresh to, to have the extra work done, yeah, the extra absolutely. power. Yeah definitely. <laughs> no, it's uh, it's basically like stock in terms of the point it cuts in. It's probably yeah. it's literally just over two thousand RPM, yeah. like probably yeah. two two yeah, two yeah. three something like that. Well, that's actually one of the quickest falling turbos I think I've been in. Yeah, or cars with yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, you daily this and it still yeah. puts a smile on your face. That says it all. It really does, yeah. It's priceless. Absolutely priceless. Oh, it handles well as well, actually. <laughs> It's such yeah. a riot though. It, it never it never stops putting a smile on my face that's when I give it some of this. That's what it's all about though, yeah. isn't it? Absolutely what it's all about. And like we were speaking about just now as well off camera, you can get some serious power out of these things. Yeah. Like yeah. some mental power. <laughs> Can't get over that noise. It sounds so good. <laughs> anyway, buddy, I think that's gonna wrap things up. My first time in a Mark II ST. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like I said in the intro, I can't believe it's taken me this long to uh, to go out in one, but oh, this sounds so good. Yeah, I definitely need to get some more of these good on the fun. channel. Definitely. Now I'll leave all of your links linked down in the description down below for you guys to go and check out. But for me today, that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure to subscribe for all the adventures still to come.